Honourable Member, thank you. Thank you, sir. Deputy Chairperson, <clears throat> I hope we agree that the present situation at the universities cannot continue. I also hope that we agree that every South African has the right to protest. However, the burning of libraries, university buildings and motor cars are criminal acts and the police must arrest criminals involved in this. We should also agree that students who are serious about their studies should be allowed to study. So, but I think we disagree on what caused the problem and the way to handle these problems. The government allowed the situation to develop and now want to plead ignorance and blame others, as previous speaker said. Since 2012, for example, the Honorable Minister of Higher Education has a report of the Professor Derek Schwartz, Vice Chancellor of the Nelson Mandela University, on this specific to topic on his table, and no action followed. There is another report on the future of university funding on his table, written by a working group uh, chaired by the Honorable Deputy President, Mr. Ramaphosa, and no action. The Vice Chancellors complained on more than one occasion that since enrollment of students started growing, government on a yearly basis cut the per capita subsidy of university, the other side creating the situation. The Freedom Front Plus says that the ANC government created the situation and is currently failing in its handling of the student protest. Why are they failing? So because they try to be both government and popular activist mo movement at the same time. To be both is unfortunately not possible. Let me give you an example. President Zuma tried to be popular when he described the Fees Must Fall protest as a sign of healthy democracy. So the burning of libraries and buildings can never be signs of healthy democracy. After poor decisions of ANC politicians and some vice chancellors, then the police are called in to deal the consequences of that. Then says, so surely it's unfair towards the police that they are criticized by the same politicians and chancellors, chancellors who had called them in to deal with the situation. The other now swak besluiten dier ANC politici en sommige universiteitsrektore word die politie ingeroep om nou die gevolge daarvan te hanteer. As hulle dan hanteer, word die politie na die tyd dier die selle politici gekritiseer dat hulle nie billik kan recht optree nie. Ek sê dis onbillik. Die ANC moet besluit of hy die land wil regeer en of hy een populistische bevrijdingsbeweging wil wees om albei te wees ongelukkig is nie moendlik nie. So when the protest then reach a certain level of violence, and destruction of property, and we saw that on TV. There are few other methods, apart from using rubber bullets to control the crowd. Mr. Zizi Kotwa, ANC spokesperson, then criticized the police, stating that they should not use rubber bullets against student violent protest actions. The old Minister of Defense did the same. So these are transparent attempts of the ANC to be popular on one side with protesting students without seeking real solutions for the problems or offering alternative proposals about the manner in which the police should deal with the situation. The ANC can not all the time create, he must be the government, he must the problem solve on the one hand, what he caused, and he can not do it to be the police to criticize him.